Day, yeah, um, I yeah dreamed about last night. Just so many, you know, get a, do I get a duck? Do I get to score some runs? So um, for that to happen, I'm pretty relieved. What, what most impressed you about the way you went about it today? Because you, you seem to really put away the bad balls and stop the good ones, and uh, then you really unleashed. Yeah, I think. Uh, Coming off a duck for the JJ's game, I think um, just leaving early, getting through the new ball and then cashing in. Um, it's a simple game plan, but it's quite hard when you're out there. But I'm glad I got through the new ball with Meg and um, yeah, scoring got easier after that. And having Meg there, tell us a bit about your partnership with her and what she was saying to you and how she made you feel about what you could achieve today. Yeah, I've never batted with Meg or played with her and she's just the best batting partner. Um, she knows exactly what to say when um, and whenever I felt under pressure she either scored a four or came down the other end and um, gave me some words of advice. So yeah, she's a great batting partner and um, yeah, she, welcome back I guess. It looks like she hasn't um, missed a day. Yeah, I've heard you um, put into the Oxford stars before about how she's sort of getting you to like Maybe calm down. Yeah, and yeah. Wanted to start going faster. Yeah, um, yeah. We didn't need to. It was a, it was a nice total to have for a debut. Um, we didn't need to go too fast, too fast, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it was nice. And what was your approach once Meg went out and then you um, those three boundaries in a row? Yeah, I, I was just, I didn't like batting so slowly. Um, I like to sort of go to run a ball in 50 overs. So, I just uh, took a liking to one of those spinners and um, released the shoulders, I guess. Yeah, she was one of my favourite players, her and um, Elise Perry. So um, to see them on the TV screen or as just an idea um, to now playing with them is pretty surreal and um, yeah, a bit of pinch myself moment. Yeah, it was so nice. Um, my grandma came up too, and mum's mum's here for all of them. So, uh, yeah, really nice. And whenever they got on the big screen, I just <laughs> laughed. That was so funny. So, uh, yeah, it was really really nice that they were here. And how about that Caprizo from Moons? Um, seemed like she had a lot of very nice things to share. Yeah, that was so sweet. Um, and she gave me the note, so I've got that in my cricket kit, and I reckon that will stay in there for the entirety of hopefully a um, long career. Yeah. There's an opportunity at the top of the order and, and you're, you're here. How do you look at that when, when you think that it's, it's so hard to get in the Australian cricket team and, and yet here's your chance um, to, to, to do that? Yeah, I guess um, with uh, Mid Alyssa Healy's injury, um, there's a spot at the top of the order and um, yeah, I put my hand up, but you look at Midge and Mooney's uh, success and even Rachel's success, and I'm not, yeah, not looking to, to disrupt that. Um, even I'm, I'm happy to run drinks for, for a long time. I just love being around this group, and um, so yeah, if there's an opportunity, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty keen to see Midge back. You've had a lot of people talking about your potential for three to four years now. How have you handled that kind of expectation? And yeah, um, I don't know. I sort of just have, I guess. I don't try to try not to think too much about it. It probably comes on when I uh, fail a bit more, and I look back and I go, oh, I'm, "Am I as good as you know everyone says I am?" But um, yeah, I think it's just down to watching the ball at the end of the day. And once I get on the field, it sort of goes away, which is nice. Have you modelled your game on as a left-hander? Uh, when you look at cricket, did you do that? Well, look at players and think I, I should play a bit like that. But um, not necessarily technique wise, I think Dad sort of, Dad and I just sort of made my technique. Um, we, I didn't really look up to a batter as such, but um, in recent times I have looked to Beth Mooney, um, especially in the T20 game, the way she goes about it, um, do, doesn't need to bash sixes and fours, she just goes about and accumulates. So um, yeah, I've taken some inspiration off her. I know Dad's been a huge part of your development, was he going to be watching on, on TV? Yeah, I'm sure. If not, um, you know, maybe doing a few surgeries on animals. But I don't know if he was working today, but hopefully he was uh, tuned to the TV. What was his style of teaching you with your game? Was it about doing it in a set way or did he actually unfold your own style? What was his 
Yeah, I think originally, you know, you get the front elbow up. Uh, gave me a technique, but once once I uh, sort of had that, he let me go pretty free reign. Um, and once I sort of left Orange, I had amazing coaches to work from and I've just sort of picked advice from everyone. And um, yeah, so still keep evolving. Um, but yeah, the base works probably from dad. How do you think your game has evolved this last year since you've been based in Sydney full-time and yeah, I guess it's just more time to think about cricket um, and model the game, um, think about the game. But, uh, yeah, I think I've sort of improved my um, temperament and also my power game. I think I was a nerdler in my first few years. I'd glide it to third, you know, a lot of runs behind the wicket. So, um, yeah, I've sort of worked on that. And then, yeah, just temperament, like leaving the balls today, I, I probably would have lashed at one first over if, if it was the old me. So.